Yes, he's doing well. I like it professionally. The worst night we've been going at 11.30. He had three shows at 11.30. They I mean, had great, it depends on what he wants. Yeah. They had great promos for his show. They, they played it after the Oscars. It was a special Jimmy Kimmel uh, post-Oscar show last night. And he had um, Tom Cruise with the Jimmy is funny. I, I, I know. Really funny Jimmy's one of the funniest guys I know. He's funny, naturally funny. So he'll be fine. Uh, he should thank God that they didn't hire Leno to go on at 1130. But he's a nice actor. He should think so. If Leno goes on at 1130, take the 12.30 slot. Who cares? Just sit there and make a ton of money. A lot of these guys uh, point to the like, UN Letterman is big uh, influence over there. And I think the guy who's so reminds me about Letterman and you is, uh, is Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, he's a guy who could do well anywhere. But it depends on what Jimmy wants. And sometimes these guys are like, I want everything. You know, I want to be this big... I want to be Johnny Carson. Well, I don't want to be Johnny Carson. I, I want to be better than Johnny Carson. Don't you think he's better? Yeah, and all of them are trying to be Johnny Carson. Oh, well, it's Letterman. I think he has a picture of Johnny Carson in his bathroom. Maybe he jerks off to it. Is that what it's like? I'm not thinking. Stop with Johnny Carson. That was a shit. He wasn't even that great. Is that what it's about? He's done better than Carson. Can you read? Right. No, they haven't been better. I think I would go. I go. I'm better than him. I'm better than everyone. <laughs> they think they what? found the Octa Dad. Oh, good. What the? Okay. Yeah, they found the Octa Dad. Yeah. <laughs> A California man says he may be the dad of children. The so unidentified man made the claim. Good Morning America today. He dated Nadia Salimhan for three years. Yeah. He was a for her frequent fertility treatment. Yeah. Why do you do that? I don't know. I, do. I, never, I, never, I think I'd rather fuck a, a chimpanzee. <laughs> well, he just donated his phone. <laughs> wow. Imagine fucking that in that You told me that the crazy girls are good. Yeah, that's that crazy. I don't know. Good. She, got two, she got like two hot dogs on her mouth. Yeah, and, but look, this, they're good in bed, but if they have eight kids, you have to put them in there. Oh, man. Yeah, she gave birth to eight in January, bringing her total up to 14. The firm doctor says Suleiman originally told him she couldn't conceive without a doctor's help because she had cancer. He's not sure if he would have up with dad, but he'd like to help Suleiman anyway. The man told Good Morning America he doesn't think the so-called Octomom can make it, uh, make a go of it on her own. Well, there's somebody with a head on your shoulder. Man, yeah, well, you should have thought that before that was kid. Suleiman has already denied that he's the first. Uh, I, I, I just want to mention this story real quick. I know you're probably going to get to it, but we are running out of time. It, it, I just I find that phenomenal that 11 year old shot. Oh, yeah, he's getting to that. Yeah, should, this kid was 11 years old. But the, you see, when they, the, the, the parents give them these guns. They give these 11 year old guns, junior guns, so that they can go out and run out, huh? What's the story? What happened? The 11 year old kid came home and shot uh, his uh, the stepmom, girlfriend. the girlfriend of his father. Uh, and shot she's her right, pregnant. Yeah, shot her right uh, there in bed. And they went to school. <laughs> what kind of worries about his education? Yeah, the kid was speaking. But now, you know, clearly the kid's psycho. But why would you give an 11 year old a gun? On some level, it's a good kid yeah. because I shot my mom in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Egypt. <laughs> I bet you it cost about $800 to try to get to it. You know, I forgot all about the $800 bond. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my credit card bill was so bad. I'm reminded of that. I'm paying my bills and I.
also a big brother who has managed to abide the physical cancer and agreed to make a reality TV show about her impending death. We're getting very drunk with these TV shows. But she just got married. They so they could spend their wedding night together and they said this is their one night together it might be their only night together and a TV show over there in Britain with a dying woman and it's just a nice to a senator that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg will be dead of cancer in nine months tops wow the Louisville Courier Journal says the comment was made by Republican Jim Bunning of Kentucky in the context of him looking forward to getting another conservative justice on the bench. He added, quote, that's going to be in place very shortly because we will be...